Well, it's Wednesday morning, and uh, as you can see, it's raining. And uh, why am I going outside in my my cycling jacket with a hood? Well, because I've arranged to meet um, Robin from. Uh, he's a pastor of uh, New River Church, Baptist Church, uh, just near me, and uh, we we're going to meet for coffee. And uh, with the uh, the government regulations now, tier two in London. We're not allowed to meet in a coffee shop with someone from another household. So we thought we'd meet outside and then the weather forecast was that uh, it would be raining. So I'm going to meet him by the canal. There's a, 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 a cafe which apparently has an awning and maybe even a heater outside. Um, it's called Canal Number no. 5, which is a nice play on word, Chanel Number no. 5. And it's just by the lock and so we'll be able to... Uh, hopefully have a, have a coffee and a chat and catch up about our different churches. He's a really great pastor, does a lot of outreach, a lot of kids work in the community. He used to run, I'm not sure if he still is, an, an English language class reaching out to some of the immigrants in the area. It's actually the product of merging a church plant uh, called New River Church uh, and a Baptist church. Uh, which had a new building, and so they merged together, slightly older Baptist congregation, and then this slightly younger uh, church plant. So it's going really well, and uh, he's a great guy. Looking forward to talking to him. And uh, I thought I'd just uh, speak to you while I'm walking through the rain, and share with you my reading for today. It's uh, 1 Timothy 2 verse 1. And Paul's writing to Timothy, leader of a, a church, a young, younger guy. And this is what he says. He says, uh, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all holiness, in all godliness and holiness. It's quite a famous passage, really. But what to pray for, and in particular, those in authority. Let's want to pray for those in authority um, today. But just thinking about it at the moment, we're in a situation where a lot of people in my church are from Nigeria, and at the moment, I just heard this morning that there was a shooting by soldiers uh, against um, demonstrators. There, there's a big move because of the violence shown by some of the police units uh, in that country, and. Um, it's very similar to Black Lives Matter in the States, but uh, the government there, or the, the army there, have responded very violently, there have been, have been killings. At the same time, in the north of the country, there is an Islamic uh, terrorist movement who are killing uh, people, murdering people uh, in their homes. Uh, so the country seems to be in quite a crisis. Simultaneously, we've got a friend who was a student here doing his PhD in history from Hong Kong and he's frightened to go back because of the repression there. China's also repressing the uh, Uyghur minority, well, majority in their own country, part of the country in Xinjiang, uh, putting them into re so-called re-education camps. Um, it's a lot of political problems and of course we're looking towards the American elections whether Biden or Trump will win. And although it's a different country, it has influence and has significance throughout the world and will have a big impact on every part of the planet. Um, here, uh, we've got a big standoff between the national government and the government of Manchester, led by Andy Burnham because of the new regulations, tier three regulations uh, about the, um, the virus and how that is going to play out a uh, kind of confrontation there between local and national governments. It's, it's not an easy situation and uh, I'm sort of glad I'm not in charge really. I wouldn't know what to do. Uh, but Paul says to pray for people in authority and that's what we need to do. And a lot of times we concentrate in our prayers on our personal issues, um, family, friends, our local church. But we've got a ministry to the whole planet. When we meet in prayer, we touch the world. When we meet in prayer, we can influence. Um... Oh, hello, what's happened? Ah, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> when we, when we, my arm was getting tired holding the camera. Um, when we, when we meet in prayer, we can touch the world. We can influence governments. We can influence politics. And God has given us a ministry and a responsibility for the planet, and uh, certainly for our own nation, our own city. So I'd like to pray with you this morning. Encourage you to pray as well for all those in authority, and that they'll be given uh, wisdom. That they'll be given. Uh, good strategies, particularly for dealing with COVID-19, but also all the other problems which perhaps have been put into the shadows uh, at the moment. So here we are. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for our rulers. Uh, we made from different political persuasions, Lord God, but we pray for them for wisdom. We pray for them for good sense. We pray for them for an ability to understand the issues that they're facing. We pray for them that they will um, be able to make good choices that for the benefit of all the people and we thank you particularly in this country we thank you for relatively peaceful politics and for peaceful transfers of power we pray Lord God for the situation in Nigeria we pray Lord God for peace in that country we pray Lord God for uh, tranquility we pray Lord God for restraint on the part of the armed forces and police and we pray for the elections in the United States that whatever the results Lord we pray that that country will be kept uh, free from violence and that Lord God justice fairness equality and freedom will prevail and we thank you that you are Lord of the whole earth and we thank you that you're Lord even in this situation of uh, coronavirus and so we pray that uh, you will deliver our world from this scourge and that you will uh, enable us uh, to to overcome it give us courage give us steadfastness and fortitude as we get through this problem we thank you that we can trust you that we don't need to give way to fear but that we can be confident and we can be optimistic and hopeful for the future thank you that our hope does not lie in earthly things but in heavenly things and you cannot be defeated and you cannot be overcome amen so thank you uh, for being with me in this rainy rainy Wednesday morning. Uh, somebody said thank you to me for uh, reminding them at the end of every uh, Bible devotional that uh, God's with you. And I, I suppose I've developed a little kind of bit of liturgy at the end of these. And I say, uh, God bless you, God be with you, and he always is with you. And I don't want to make that sound trite. Um, because he is. He is always with you. And sometimes we do forget. And we get distracted by all the other things and we get it all gets covered over by confusion um, so yeah I just want to to tell you again I do pray that God will bless you and that God will be with you and I want you to remember that he is always with you and it's fantastic because the God of the universe walks with you every day wherever you're going whatever you're doing Amen.